Hey Sri Lanka, this is Yasmin Yusuf from Decibel LK and I'm with the very creative Dr. Sum from Music Matters. Super excited because uh, his project, well one of his many many projects from Music Matters, The Surrender of Sorcerers, will be releasing their second album. <laughs> We've uh, had a break for a, almost two or three years and it's very exciting to get a new lineup. The break was partly due to kind of disbanding members moving around the globe. It's been just found a new lineup and excited to be working on some new material. So who's part of the new lineup? Uh, we have Sarani Pereira from, he's the only one left from okay. the last lineup and wow. me. And Prasanna and Susanta Rupatilaka, they're part of Balifonics. And Uindu Pereira from Seoul, Sarani's brother. So tell us about this upcoming album that you guys have. Is it like very different to the stuff you guys used to put out back in the day or is this more... Um, it's along the similar, it's kind of along a similar sort of line. We've managed to, from the knowledge base of Susanta and Prasanta, we managed to kind of dig into some folk material, folk music that we haven't heard too much of, uh, so it's very interesting to he like work with some un unknown, unfamiliar pieces. But the concept is more or less the same as what we had before, which is to sort of somehow try to adapt these, work with these melodies and kind of make it into our own context. The folk melodies-ish. Yeah. Tell us about this gig that's happening on Saturday because it's going to be funsies and all that good <laughs> stuff, man. When we got together, we did some recording straight away uh, with these. It's always a nice process to just intensify the rehearsal process to work on a recording. And it turned out well, so we wanted, we thought we should release it. And this gig on Saturday is to sort of celebrate that release. We'll have small number of, uh, like a limited edition of CDs. Uh, and we'll also have it up on on the online platforms like iTunes and uh, Spotify and Google Play for on Saturday so that people who are interested can uh, listen to the music there. So now that you guys are back after that little break, uh, what's uh, the future like? Are you guys going to continue doing more live gigs? Or Yeah, for sure. Because this the good thing about this lineup is we're all based here. Mm. Most of my projects has does involve a few kind of artists who are not from here. Uh, which makes it really hard to kind of put on gigs frequently just due to sort of logistics of getting people mm. around. But it's exciting to be doing stuff with a band who's based in Colombo. So we would be doing a few more, hopefully frequently, more frequently than uh, every year, <laughs> two years. And we want to try and get the music out to like Many festivals. Many people as, oh, festivals, stuff, okay, uh, yeah. Outside of Sri Lanka as well. Because Do you the, have plans already? Yeah, I mean, uh, I have plans and experience from my other project, Balifonics, of doing it uh, yeah, You overseas. guys toured, like, uh, New Zealand last year. Yeah, we went to New Zealand, we went to Poland, and we'll be going to Australia this year. Um, and so I think this, uh, this project hopefully can use some of those, sort of, some of that background and mm. maybe more. I think this sort of appeals slightly to a wider audience compared to the Balifonics. Mm. Uh, because biophonics can be like slightly be intimidating also because of the whole yeah. will factor yeah and it's uh it's almost must be too powerful yeah uh, it's got like a really thing about it even though it's the same guys in this uh in this lineup prasanta and susanta i think this for some reason it, the melodic content kind of appeals a little more not appeals it's maybe more accessible mm. you guys seem to be having quite a few gigs right back at the sound room where we're at yeah so um any any more gigs coming up that people can watch out for yeah um because i know you guys do like big ears um once a month or maybe twice a month yeah and we've, then we've been a bit sporadic about it actually but now for the next next six months we've come up with a sort of new initiative we've come up with a new initiative to put on at least two gigs a month i think that will go under the name sound room sessions Oh, nice. Um, yeah, and the ne first one coming up is on Wednesday the 21st, uh, featuring a trombone player from the US called Brian Allen. And from there on, almost bi-weekly or at least twice a month, we would have something on. 
and that would also feature everyone at Music Matters so that it's, while it's giving us mm. the motivation to kind of work on new stuff it hopefully it will encourage the audience to come out more regularly yeah and I've seen like a healthy appreciation of live music in Colombo during the last few months yeah. so this is just like amazing to also know that this place is open for more gigs and we'll have more gigs yeah yeah I mean yeah, I think uh, as a as a collective, we would uh, one of our main goals is to kind of grow our audience, mm. uh, just get people used to coming out to see live music, uh, especially non like non commercial mm. sort of alternative stuff. So, and it's a long term thing, and I think we need to work hard to make things consistent, and so that people are used to it. Yeah. So now you know Sri Lanka, so is there anything else you want to add, Doctor? No, it would be great f to see lots of people there. <laughs> um, and it's free entry, so and it's kids friendly, bring young youngsters along.